Hey guys, it's Kaylin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming this orange eyes, bright orange lips, intense highlight, and bronzy skin for you all. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please continue to watch. Starting out, of course, I'm going in with the Hard Candy Glimmer Flush Heavy Duty Concealer. You guys know I always use this, and I put this on my lids. It absolutely, for a girl like me who has oily eyelids, when I use this and I set it with the powder, my eyeshadow does not look greasy or anything throughout the day because I used to have a big problem with that. So ever since I started using that, I've no longer had that problem. So if you have oily eyelids and your eyeshadows tend to look greasy throughout the day, I definitely recommend you try that out. But I'm going to jump into my Too Faced Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I'm picking up that neutral skin tone shade. And that's what I use a lot of the times other than like a normal face powder. And I use that just to set the concealer onto the eyelid so it does not crease up. I'm taking like this uh, burnt dusty bra orange tone eyeshadow. And I'm really going to focus this into the crease and then above the crease as well. I'm not going to pack this color on in intensely, just enough where it gives me that nice transition. Then I'm going to go in with this brown. It has kind of like that grayish undertone, so it's going to go good with deepening up the crease. I'm going to get a smaller brush and just definitely focus this mainly into the crease at all. I don't want it to bring it down any lower or any further up. I just want it to give that definition into the crease because sometimes with orange, it tends to like sag my eyelids up a little bit and with my eye color. So this is just going to help neutralize it out. I'm going to go into this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. I'm going to pick up this metallic birch silver orange down here at the bottom. And I'm going to use this on my lid. At first, it wasn't as pigmented as I want because it is from, like, a cheaper brand. Um, I do like the color, but I don't like how, un how it's not pigmented. But I did you know, spice it up a little bit. I used my Evian spray and I spritz a little bit on my brush and I picked up the color and then made the sheen stand out a lot more. So this is more of a subtle look. I was going for more of a dramatic look, but I still love how this look turned out in the end as well. I'm going to go back into that same color that I used in my crease and just really focus it further into the crease because with that orange, it kind of took the definition of further away from it with all the sheen to it. So I want it to deepen the crease up a little bit and just pick it up. And then I'm going to go into a liquid liner. I'm not going to do a crazy cat eye at all. I'm literally flicking it out just a half of inch out. Of, um, ugh, I cannot talk. I'm just flicking it out just a little bit towards the end of where my eyeshadow stops. And then I'm just bringing it. See how thin it is? So it's not going to be super bold or super intense. It's just going to be enough to flatter my eye shape. Now for mascara, I'm taking the L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lash Mascara, and I'm going to coat this dramatically onto my lashes. I totally meant to curl my lashes. I've been getting back into that, but I forgot to, so they do look a lot um, straight. I have pretty long lashes, but they stick straight out instead of, like, you know, curling up, so I've been going back in with um, eyelash curler. Now going into the face, I'm using that same Evian spray onto my face, and I'm spraying a little bit onto my Beauty Blender. For foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. You'll probably see me use this foundation a lot because right now it's my current favorite. I'm absolutely, I cannot talk. I'm absolutely obsessed, and I love this foundation to death. I just love the coverage. I love the finish of it. I just love it. <laughs> And to blend that in, of course, I'm using my Handy Dandy Beauty Blender. If you do not have a beauty blender and you just, you know, you should probably just go splurge. Use that 20 bucks that your mom gave you and go buy the beauty blender because obviously, because clearly... It's going to be the best purchase of life. Like, it's amazing. But for concealer, I'm going back in with an oldie. I'm using the Maybelline Age Instant Rewind. I don't, Instant Age Rewind. There we go. Um, in light pale. At first, this color was always harder for me to blend in. And that's because I didn't have the right proper tool because how light it was. But with this beauty blender, it made it so easy to blend in. And it looks so seamlessly onto my skin. Um, you guys, I absolutely love the concealer now just because of, like, the beauty blender. Because I've always thought it was so hard to blend in, but it was just the tool I was using. 
And then to do a little bit of baggage today, I'm using my Airspun Loose Face Powder. I have been going back to using this a lot more recently. Normally I use my NYX one, but I've been going back into this. And I've been focusing this underneath the eyes, and then I'm bringing it out a little bit towards the nose and further down. I'm trying to be careful not to cake on too much because then sometimes it will seek into my pores and it will, uh, it will make my pores stand out a lot more than I would like them to. So yes. I'm going in with lip balm, of course, because, you know, I got dry lips and I need that CarMax in my life. For brows, I'm using the Maybelline Brow Precision Pencil in Dark Brown. And I'm going to go ahead and fill my brows in with this. This isn't my favorite pencil, but I've been still trying it out and seeing how, you know, to how to pencil in my eyebrows because normally I use a brow pomade so I'm still trying it out I'm gonna definitely go out and buy different brands and see how I like them also I've been trying the concealing underneath the brows I'm using my all made all may CC concealer and I'm just I love the look of concealed eyebrows now it makes them look a lot more structured a lot more clean and it gives like that extra highlighted look underneath there too And then we go into my beauty blender and just dab at it a little bit just to blend it in so it doesn't look so harsh. And then after I finish that, I'm going to dust away all the excess powder that is on my face. I want to be very careful and make sure I actually get away all of the powder so I don't see it later show up in one of my photos or anything. <laughs> After that, I'm going to go back into the lower lash line. I'm going to pick up that same color I used into my crease, and I'm going to use this to smoke out underneath the lash line. So I'm going to just take a pencil brush and just smoke it sloppily, but not like super heavy underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm going to apply some mascara on my bottom lashes, so I'm going back in with that same L'Oreal Voluminous Fiber Lash Mascara, and then just coating my bottom lashes with it. Now, going, jumping back into the face, I'm going in with an, another oldie but goodie. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. Um, I remember when I was using, using it last summer, I didn't think it was, like, that tan on my face or, like, that dark. But now that I'm still, like, a little paler, it's, like, it's amazing, like, for my skin tone right now. Like, if I want, like, a full-on bronze, like, look at my bronze face... It's amazing for the skin tone of my now. And because I did bring it down a little bit too much, I'm going to go ahead under and bake it up a little bit underneath the contour just to sharpen it out a little bit and so it doesn't look so muddy underneath the face. I'm going to go into the Beauty Treats Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I'm mixing this peachier tone with like this light baby doll pink to get like the perfect kind of bronze look to it. It doesn't look too uh, bronze and it doesn't look too pink. It just kind of looks more peachier, I guess. And then for a highlight, I'm using the NARS Albatross Highlight. I'm using this because it has like that gold undertone to it, so it's perfect for this look. Now for lips, I'm taking this L'Oreal lipstick in 400. This is like a red with like an orange undertone to it, so I love this lip color for this look. But this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in my next video. This is the completed look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss out on any future videos, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Please, um, if you have any suggestions or just want to say hey, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'm always open to suggestions or just want to chit-chat. But everything that I use in today's video will be as well 
of course, will be listed down below in the description bar, and as well as my social media links and everything else you need to know. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you beautiful, beautiful people in my next video. Bye, everyone.